This is the process for installing a CIS system for the Epson C120. First thing you want to do is take out all your parts and lay them out for installation. Okay. You want to press the change cartridge button and open the cover. Keep pressing the change cartridge button until the printer head is in the resting position. Unplug the printer at this time so we could easily move the printer head. You want to take a flathead screwdriver and press it in this area to take this piece off. That way we can move the printer head cover easily. Okay. At this time we are going to install the cartridges into place. Click the cartridges into place so that they are secure. At this time you want to move the printer head back and forth so that you can measure how much tubing you need and so that it's not too short or too long. When you have enough tubing, go ahead and attach the support arm to the printer and adjust your tube. At this time we're going to remove the plugs and insert the air filters. And please note if you have a CIS system and you're installing it, you want to make sure that your reservoir tank is at the same level as your printer so that you don't have any gravitational leakage that could happen. Okay. You want to plug your printer back on at this time and turn the power on. Okay. Right now it shows that the cartridges are not being recognized. You want to press the change cartridge button. And again we will wait for the printer head to go in the resting position. Okay. There is a resetter button built into the chip. And you want to press that for about 5 seconds and then release and then press the change cartridge button again
Okay. And now it indicates that the cartridges are now being recognized.